Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Why and how do you get rid and destroy the weakness, the weak part inside of you? That should actually be today's main question we're gonna be focusing on. We all know and we're all aware of having strengths and weaknesses. The problem is that our ego doesn't allow us to actually acknowledge our weaknesses on a daily basis. So when people criticize us, when people actually challenge us on questioning ourselves on our own behalf with our own weaknesses, we try to slide it out of the way because we're afraid of being confronted with it, reminded of the fact that we have weaknesses and we're not perfect. Now the thing what you can do to actually deal with that, for example, is you can try to understand that when people highlight these weaknesses, it might be time for you to start addressing them systematically. And what do I mean by that is actually you just start focusing on the things that really matter. You know, if a weakness makes you not be able to do certain things in life, as you would want to, then it might be something that's in the way. They call it like a pit or a stumbling block or a barricade, but it's something that's there. And if you do not acknowledge it, how do you think you're gonna get rid of it? It's not magically gonna disappear. You don't need people to help you to make it disappear, but the opportunity that has been provided to you gives you the opportunity to get rid of it once and for, once and for all. Now, I personally don't think that many people actually are comfortable enough in their own skin to be dealing with it. Maybe they have done it in the past. Maybe they're planning to do it in the future. Maybe they don't care at all. But the point is, there is a time and a need to be dealing with it. And if you do not take the time, that need will repeat itself through or in the form of other people challenging you. See criticism as a challenge and opportunity to deal with something and to get rid of something once and for all, or adjust it in a way that it will benefit you instead of being a burden or a hindrance. That's something that in the West we do not do a lot. We, we kind of just like, you know what, I go through my daily routine, I have my stuff I have to deal with, I have the things that I'm going through, you know, I have to take care of my family, I have to take care of siblings, I have to, you know, work my nine to five, you know, I have to pay my taxes. And then what is left? Where is the self-development, self-improvement, spiritual achievements? Where is the personal growth and where is the relationship strengthening? You know, where are all these things if you're just doing what is expected from you, but is actually outside of you? You're just participating in someone else's needs and requests and you get something in return because that is because of the exchange. Otherwise, you wouldn't agree and sign any contract. But that's the point. So at the end of the day, at the end of the year, at the end of a decade or whatever, are you going to take time for yourself? Are you finally going to take time for yourself? Because I don't think most of the time people do. They just don't. They're so focused on the external and achieving certain things that seem to be relevant at that time at the moment because it's going to give them some type of feeling or sensation or a kick that they need. But then... Where is the point of being an actual individual and living fully? Living fully also means working on yourself, you know, testing yourself, challenging yourself, getting to know yourself, understanding yourselves a bit better and actually doing something with it. If you always delay and stall, then you're never going to get anywhere. And you might or I'll ensure you, you will regret it at some point in time in life. But then it's too late because then the excuse is going to be what is valid, you're too old, or time ha time just ran out. You ran out of time. So what can you actually do to help yourself deal with these problematics, with these stumbling blocks or these pits in the ground where you might fall in, is first and foremost understand that everything that you're good at does not overshadow the weaknesses you already have eternally. The time when people do question, point out, or challenge you concerning these weaknesses through criticism, use it as an opportunity to grow and prosper. The moment you've taken those small steps, enjoy the procedure, enjoy it, enjoy the process. And the moment you reach the point you want to be at and find full satisfaction, that's when you be in, become a new person. And in Christian terminology, that's when you get reborn in a smaller version 
a compact micro version of the essential part truth i hope it helped you i hope you're gonna be able to question yourself in a healthy way challenge yourself by accepting criticism of their people and i'll be seeing you next time and to see how far you go in time thank you for watching i'll be seeing you take care